games. You're in the game. <laughs> What it is, YouTube, it's I'm All Thumbs. In this one, we're going to take a look at the epic version of the new supply drop only light machine gun, the Augur. I was lucky enough to get this right after it dropped from a bundle, and I sat on it for a little bit because there was some weird stuff going on with it, and I wanted to wait until they patched it. I know it's been a short second since I've uploaded, but I've been working on some cool stuff, including a new end screen, which I'll debut at the end of this video. Also, for those of you who've been asking, I've turned on my sub counter so you can see the growth of my channel and track it along with me. The variant is called the Fury. This is the Mark II edition, but it comes with Twin Sanity, which is a Kimbo light machine guns, and also with haste for quicker movement speed. Now, originally this thing came with Steady for reduced hip spread, uh, but they changed that in the patch. Uh, it's only a five equipable attachments, so no real decision here. They are as follows: extended mags, hollow point, FMJ rifle barrel, and laser sight. None of the optics are equipable since you can't aim down the sights. Astute viewers may have noticed in the intro footage, one other thing that they patched was the trait readiness had carried over somehow in the coding, probably carried over from a copy pasta job on the HBR Gemini. Here is the clip again. See how the right gun with two bullets reloads much faster than the left one with 152. The major drawback of this gun is not only does it have to be acquired from a supply drop, but it also has to be picked up from the wheel in game. Although some of the new guns wound up as wall buys on Shaolin Shuffle, so maybe, just maybe, these will too on a future map. With extended mags equipped, this thing comes with a ridiculous 360 bullets in each gun and a full reload for each in reserve. That's 720 shots before you have to reload. Ammo was one of the things I was waiting to see if they changed because of some irregularities. First, the ammo displays outside of the boundary box, and second, you have less bullets after you pack a punch. Upgraded, it has 150 in each mag plus 1,023 in reserve. The ammo from the right gun overlaps the left gun's ammo, and the last digit is below on the reserve line. Double packed, it has 187 in each gun. It still says 1,023 in reserve, but it actually has more. Apparently, 1,023 is the max ammo that can be displayed, which is kind of a random number. But as you can see, when the right gun reloads, the reserve is still 1,023. So it holds at least uh, 1,210 bullets in reserve. Also, the readiness perk has been patched out, but the ammo was left unchanged. Here is the gun in action with all the attachments except for laser sight. I actually unlock it while I'm filming this clip. The Fury shoots a little wild at first, but once firing at full speed, it settles right down. It absolutely slaps zombies like red-headed stepchildren, and it has the ammo to sustain fire for quite some time. I also really dig that you can cover the reload of one gun with the other gun if you just stagger the times of your firing a little bit to offset your ammo counts. One thing I notice is that while the guns reload separately, they actually recoil together. What this means is that if one gun is already firing at top speed, the second gun starts up without the crazy recoil. So a technique I recommend is maintaining fire with one weapon and adding the other in to catch zombies outside of your bullet stream without moving your aim. Also adding in the second gun anytime zombies get too close to you or bunch up in a large group. Another thing I noticed with this gun was that it has more than enough stopping power to catch up. And what I mean is even after I retreat up the stairs, I was able to clear them out all the way down the stairs. And I could have moved back down there to regain my position if I wanted to. Depending on where the zombies are coming from, you may want to change which weapon is constant firing and which burst firing. And you can do that simply by switching while both guns are firing. This also helps conserve ammo since you have to wait for max ammos or backpacks to refill your reserve ammo. Here's a look at the mobility with haste. I should note, in case you didn't notice, I have racing stripes in this clip. Nonetheless, I actually move around quite easily, much better than before the patch, and actually faster than I expected. You can certainly train with this weapon, and as you can see, it wrecks horrors even past round 30. I mentioned earlier I have my sub count displayed now. I'm currently sitting around 500 subs. I started this year with 100 subs and had 500 as a goal in mind for the year end. Obviously, I'm stunned to have hit it so quickly, and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who has subscribed, all you MVPs in the comment section, and everybody who slapped the like button on one of my videos. I'm truly overwhelmed by the support, and I'm setting a new sub goal of a thousand by year's end. Thank you all so much, and here is my brand new end screen in its world debut.